So into this video, I'm gonna be reviewing a product that I never want to review. More specifically, a category that I never want to review. Welcome back guys, Gaston right here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Oberworth Leica SL3 medium bag. Oberworth is a Germany company based in Berlin, and by the way, right now I'm actually in Frankfurt reviewing a German product, um, so that's why I'm here in the hotel, not at the studio. And the reason why this one is the first bag that I'm gonna be reviewing in this channel is for several reasons. Number one, I bought a Leica SL3, and I've been looking for a bag that was going to be a much better fit for this camera. Now, what I mean by better fit is that most of the bags that I have, they are more like a wedge type of you know, shape. And to be honest with you, I'm looking for something that is a little bit much more squarer, where it allows me to put the camera with a lens and remove it with ease. And sometimes I feel that these wedge bags, you know, they may be comfortable carrying it around you, but they are sometimes a pain to remove the gear from, specifically when you have a lens attached. So let's actually unbox this one because the experience with Overworth is going to start the moment you receive the package. It comes in this really nice box. The moment you open the cardboard, you're gonna find the bag inside another bag kind of like those designer bags you know that protects the leather now you remove your overworth bag from the pouch and you are going to find this bag you know stuffed with a lot of paper you know they are protecting this leather really good and also you know the straps in the corner so it took me a while to remove the paper but it goes to show you the amount of work and you know detail that they have put to pack this product so quality from the get-go now let's start reviewing this bag because the first thing that you're going to realize is you know we're talking about a type of messenger bag like and the shape of this bag is a little bit different than you know what most people are carrying these days the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the build quality because that's going to be one of the things that is going to be different than any of the other bags that i own it is made out of full leather and overworth is a company based out of here in germany and they source their leather from different tanneries from all around the world, Germany, France, Italy, and other parts. Now, the bag is made out of leather, like I mentioned before, and one of the things that I was a little bit skeptical is about, you know, how durable is gonna be a leather bag um, under the rain, for example, but good news is that this bag actually has a treatment that, you know, makes the bag water repellent. So the leather work is gonna be amazing. The stitching is right on point, and like I mentioned before, this reminds me a lot to a designer bags more than just a sport bag to carry a camera. Now the hardware is also amazing. It seems to be kind of like a bronze or brass, you know, it's going to be premium all throughout the bag. Also this bag is gonna have four picks at the bottom that is going to protect the bottom of the bag when you lay on a flat surface. So that's pretty clever. Now the opening of the bag is actually different than anything that I'm used to or that I own already. So it's not a zipper, you know, it's not a buckle. It has the two buttons that you have to kind of like unlatch, pop out, and then you can actually open the bag. Pretty clever system. So the first thing that we're gonna notice is that we have this two front pockets. They're pretty spacious. You know, you can put a lot of things, glasses, lenses, cell phone, microphone, whatever the case may be, you know, they are going to be very spacious. Then you are gonna find the center compartment, which is padded with this uh, red soft material. And it is actually uh, pretty thick. So, you know, it's going to protect your camera. No worries there. Now, you are gonna have these uh, dividers that you are going to uh, stick, you know, they have Velcro and you're gonna place them in a way, you know, just to configure your bag the way you want it. And this is one of the reasons why I like this bag. I like it because it's square and it allows me to really uh, configure and take use of the volume of the bag. And the way that I have arranged it is in this three compartment light type of system where in this side, you know, I'm gonna have my Leica SL3 with a lens attached most of the time. In the center, I can put more lenses or, you know, other, you know, gear. And on the uh, opposite end, I'm gonna have my Leica M11, you know, always as my back of camera there and also with an attached lens. And as you can see, you know, this, um, carry allows you for a lot of flexibility but still the size of the bag is not humongous now we are going to have a sequence of pockets you know these two little pockets right here are going to be uh, great for you to actually uh, you know put some sd cards then you have a zipper in the uh, front inner part that again you know you could use for uh, you know um, alcohol wipes or whatever you want to store in there and at the back internally we are going to have a pouch and now this pouch is going to fit up to an ipad 11 inches and this is one of the reasons why i like this bag because it is small it allows me to fit an ipad 
and this is how I've been editing a lot of my images on the go. Now it's not going to fit in MacBook uh, 13 inches per se, but there is a larger version, I believe it's the large uh, SL bag, that's going to allow you to put a laptop in there. So this one is perfect for me because I wanted something that um, would allow me to carry a lot of things, that would allow me to carry an iPad and keep the size of the bag relatively small. Now on the back of the bag, we also gonna have another zipper and this is gonna be perfect if you're gonna be traveling, you can put your passport, you can put your wallet there and have easy access. Now, one of the things I really like about the design of this bag is that you can always access the pockets without having to, you know, remove gear, which is not the same situation with some of my bags. You know, some of my bags have a lot of storage, but a lot of the times when you want to access the storage, you got to remove gear and it becomes a little bit cumbersome, specifically when you're traveling. You're also going to have those two side pockets. So when it comes to storage, you know, um, opportunities, you're going to have plenty with this bag. When it comes to the quality of the bag, I got to say is that one of the nicest bags that I ever seen myself in person or that I ever owned and um, using this bag is you know truly a pleasure. Now this bag is going to have the strap, it is configurable, you can extend it to your you know desired length and it's also going to have a shoulder padding as you can see over worth right there embossed in that area. So there is not much to say then this bag is going to be expensive. It is going to cost you $949 and I know that for a bag may be a lot of money, but when you're talking about protecting lenses that may cost, you know, two to three to four times the price of that bag, and most likely this one is going to be a bag for those photographers that want to protect, you know, expensive gear there that can justify the expense of this bag. One of the best thing about this bag is that it has lifetime warranty. So if anything ever happened to this bag, most likely it's going to get repaired or replaced. I am going to be listing a link down in the description for those that want to check out this bag and also get a discount if you decide to go for this bag or any of the product from Overworth. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you have any experience with this type of bags from Overworth, we'd love to know what you have to say. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.